हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड इंटेलिजेंस सिस्टम प्रोवाइडेड बाय सेंट एंड्रूज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मैनेजमेंट एफिलेटेड अंडर महाराष्ट्र दयानंद यूनिवर्सिटी हरियाणा रोहतक अप्रूव्ड बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड ए इन टूडेज लेट मी डू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ आई एम मिस प्रतिश्र पटनाइक वर्किंग एज एस्टन प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर विल बी द कंटिन्यूशन सीरीज ऑफ द लास्ट टॉपिक दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड रिगार्डिंग द प्लानिंग दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन द फील्ड ऑफ इंटेलिजेंट सिस्टम टुडे विल बी फोकस मोर इन डिटेल अबाउट द टोटल ऑर्डरिंग प्रॉब्लम और द पार्शियल ऑर्डर प्लानिंग हाउ इट इज बिन फ्रूटफुल विद यूजिंग द प्लानिंग टेक्निक्स एंड ऑल्सो टू सॉल्व अ कॉम्प्लेक्स क्राइटेरिया प्रॉब्लम इन द फील्ड ऑफ ए आई सो लेट्स बिगिन टूडेज क्लास so when it comes to mind that uh, we are making planning what exactly planning why it is so required in the field of ai can an intelligent system or robot is going to work without any planning the same way when we have a uh, similar property as we compare to human being whenever human being is planning to do certain work every step or every thing that has to be executed in that part of doing that work is been planned out let's say we are planning to make a cup of tea so what we are planning we are come across with the accessories that are required we are taking the prerequisites that is it part to make a cup of tea that's required milk sugar water or that is the part we need a container we need fire or at what mode that we are making a tea same word when we come down in the field of air uh, ai or intelligent system the intelligent system or the machine that we are planning to develop that how it is going to uh, make the things more feasible and give a desirable result so planning is also an important parameter as compared to human being we have our own thinking power or the knowledge based that to do this one but when we say about the intelligent system it is always going to be fruitful come under the part of expertise when we come across with the knowledge base we come across with the inference role this all things has to be coordinated equally so that the intelligent or the robot is going to give you the desired result when we say uh, let's have an example for a human being sitting on a table and also watching the tv and the remote is available in the sofa set for example but ultimately when an robot is been going to search out the same uh, machine which uh, are the part to find out the remote where it is been located so the desired thing that a robot need to understand plan accordingly what step that he has to take to find the uh, remote where it, it is located and give to the agent so that the tv set can be on same way let come across when we say what is the real world problem so when we say we are doing something planning for what we are making planning to solve our problems that is also a part when we have a complex statement problem and also we are reaching from start to destination or starting from goal to uh, we are approaching to reach to our goal state so we are making some planning so that is also planning is the ta task of coming up with the sequence of actions that are required to achieve our goal state that is a part when we are using the searching criteria in the field of let's say when we come across with bfs searching or dfs searching or a star algorithm in or star algorithm all the searching can be possible with the state space parameter when we are able to reach our goal state our planning is successful where we get the desired result also it planning includes the part of search based problem solving agents yes of course the agent who is making the problem uh, doing the algorithm for problem solving part then ultimately when we are able to reach our goal the planning is successful now it's a part we are also making our planning in more logical way instead of taking an emotional way it is working on more the part of logical way now planning uh, the way we are using in the traditional methods and also the planning is quite different and when we talk about a complex algorithm or the complex criteria of searching algorithms also so further in today's lecture we'll be focus more on the part how the classical planning environments changes some in, we come across in some factor the environmental actions or the state is randomly changes when we are putting our thing in the field of planning okay so classical problem environment that are fully sometime observable deterministic finite static and discrete these are the part comes under the part of environment sometimes the state and object continuously goes on changing 
so how we have to plan accordingly to find out the accurate or the exact goal state also in the previous lecture also we come across with the different standards of problem what are the problems that are coming down the uncertainty where it has been using we are overwhelmed or irrelevant to the actions that we are taking suppose we have started our searching criteria but when we have started our searching criteria there may be more than one state where we are supposed to approach if there are more than one state and simultaneously we come across with more than one goal state then how could be able to reach to the particular goal which is having the exact result also it is a problem statement finding a good heuristic function is also difficult when we are applying the heuristic value in the method of searching we need to find out the good heuristic value also one more problem comes to mind can we take the advantages of problem de decomposition if we say that problem is decomposable by using the divide and conquer let's say we are using the merge sorting algorithm the, the complex problem is divided into a smaller set of problem that is also a part but how far the problem decomposition is going to helpful to us let's begin with the next part when we come across with the all this problem that comes to mind suppose uh, let's have an example we ha we are supposed to take down the agent is given that a task okay get milk banana and a cordless drill okay so we consider these are the two tasks that uh, we are supposed to do start the search algorithm seems to be fails miserably and we have huge branching factor and heuristic here okay suppose we come across with different factors up to start point and this is our finish state okay suppose get the milk and banana so what are the possibilities of with the start node and what are the state of actions that are also going down to go to a pet store okay you are coming out from your home and you are planning to go to the goal state then you can go to your school get a banana with getting banana and milk you are going to school you are planning to go to supermarket to purchase it you are going to have uh, banana and milk then you are planning for a slip you are having uh, banana and uh, milk after that you are planning for to read a book you are planning to sit in a chair etc etc these are all the feasible state of actions that comes to mind in a traditional method when we say upon the state of action is also changes accordingly with the environment you go to a pet store are you been talking to a parrot or you are talking to a dog or you are giving a banana to a dog or you are giving an a milk to parrot these are the two feasible condition also coming to mind when we say you you have already taken your glass of milk and banana are you going to school you are having your classes what going on when you are planning for a supermarket let's see you went to the supermarket okay are you purchasing the milk packet are you been buying some extra commodities what you are exactly doing if you are reading in a book then what will the ultimate result to reach to the final state these are some kind of a Uh, problems that we are come down and also let's say the complex problem we are also been using the decomposition method or divide and conquer the part we are been breaking down in problem into different sub problems so as we are talking about the problem decomposition perfectly decomposition problem are very good okay to solve a very complex problem it will take too much time complexity and space complexity and also sometimes the search criteria for a complex problem is very difficult as we already come across so it is more fruitful if we come down decomposition of the problem when we are decomposing the same problem from search to goal state that can be easily figure out by using the partial order planner okay this is the partial order plan in today's lecture we will be see it is based upon the assumption of the most real world problem and nearly decompose every i mean week sometime the state is not completely decomposable okay but we can approach up to let's say not 100% but at least we can approach till 70% the problem can be decomposable and also we need to be very careful about then sometimes we, it comes to our mind uh, sometimes it comes to the strategy also some of the sub goals may be undo the another sub goal if they are in a continuous state okay if some actions are occurring in a parallel state if some actions let's say here we can say that we are having in a supermarket and also reading a book okay some events are also occurring in a parallel way so some sub goals are going to be undo some more sub goals because when we come across with the complex criteria of searching where we are also finding more than one goal okay 
so this goals are again going to be bifurcate among the sub goals so one sub goal may be interact with another sub goal this is also a part we need to study very well while we doing the problem decomposition part so let's begin with the next part when we say planning and problem solving these are sometimes these are when the part are reflecting the same meaning but also they are having another different meaning okay planning agent is very similar to the part of problem solving agent okay when we say planning and problem solving we are making planning because we could easily solve out all the problem but on the other hand if you could say planning agent is a very similar to the problem of problem solving agent construct a plan achieve the goal then execute them what we are making in a planning we are constructing a planning we are taking the step of execution we are trying to achieve our goals through that plan and we are executing those all planning statements okay by the way the how the planning is been similar to the problem solving agent we have a agent the agent is trying to solve our problem the agent is going to process out and able to solve our query that is a problem solving now how these two are different from each other let's say how these two are going to be differentiated between each other planning is also different uh, planning agent is having a different from the problem solving agent okay how the planning agent is going to be different representation of the goal state and action yes it is required because when we are applying in a search criteria let's say we'll come across with a partial order algorithm or the total uh, order problem there we able to find out that how the planning agent is going to represent the goal the state the action plan how it is going to and also sometime we come across with the logical representation and we are doing something in explicitly then how what is the way of searching the solution uh, more than one feasible path or when we have more than one goal state okay so this is the difference between the planning which is uh, more in detail it is mentioned out uh, planning the system does required a divide and conquer policy that the overall problem uh, complex problem is been decomposable we are been dividing the complex problem or a bigger problem into small sub problems okay then relaxing and recruiting to the sequential construction of the solution if one we have been solving one problem simultaneously one more problem which is there in the sequential pipeline that will also be result out to give you the expected solution let's have the difference between when we say it's a problem solving it's a planning the state is having in the part of problem solving the uh, state is represented with the data structure where in the part of planning we are similarly writing that using a logical sentences then the part of actions it is come across with the code or the pseudo code that is will be developed here we come across with the same representation using the flow chart or the precondition or the outcomes over there then we come across with the goal state that is also the coded structure we are writing the goal state uh, in the part of logical sentences now when it comes to planning that we need to do sequence of observation that the sequence is having s0 s1 s2 that is a part and in case of planning we are writing this all part in the form of a constraints so let's have the next one mainly we come across with the planners till now as we have in the last class discuss some of the planner techniques i've been working right now come across with the terminologies that is the strips <coughs> ab strips hacker and noha these are the uh, like the uh, robots or the artificial intelligence expert system that has been developed and still many research scientists are still working on this field the first one is the strip that is developed with fikes and nelson in the year of 1971 they have been using the theorem for the proving systems when we say about the uh, abstracts that is the added hierarchical abstraction to this method only scotted in 1974 has been uh, uh, make the manufacturing of this product hacker on sussman in 1975 used the library of the production plan and he developed this intelligent system noha this has been the uh, recently developed and um, since 1975 this has also been utilized with the problem decomposition and the planning record reordering sequence to find out in the part of artificial intelligence so we'll be a little bit brief about this trip this is developed in standard research institute problem solver actually this is uh, is going to represent the thing uh, of a like traditional way searching into a uh, part when we say searching in the having a good planning strategy it restrict the way to express in state action and goals but lead more efficiently now when we say about the state this is the conjunction 
around the function free and positive literals that are used let's say we have taken an example milk and banana above so the uh, uh, the possibility sentence or logical sentence can be represented as at home this is conjunction have banana if banana is available at home we will be saying that at home conjunction and and have banana uh, closed while assumptions are mostly used here when we say about the goal state conjunction of literals may contain the variable or the essentials hence the goal state can be represent more than one state okay uh, the goal also come across with more than one state same way will be re, re, the goal can be approached with the two conditions only yeah we can reach down at home if we don't have banana then we have to purchase it and then we have to go to home to have that banana that is a part at home this is the negation of uh, banana because at at, uh, at home at the start state the banana is not available so how the banana going to be available when we are introducing one more state to it the attacks that uh, at home the banana is to be purchased so this is also the action or the precondition that were making the searching uh, hold best execution with the effect after the execution this is a part okay so how this is going to be executed the strip sections uh, this is the schema part that we have designed the precondition sales uh, the precondition comma x where we are saying that it may be a seller who will be selling the banana and we need to purchase it we need to buy it from the seller so that it is going to be represented in the schema part so an action schema includes action name and the parameter list as the variable okay in the parameter list and the variable we have been writing as a by the precondition what we are taking the conjunction of the function free positive literals any variable in the must appear in the parameter list and also the effective part okay so here we do have the two thing that is the add list and the delete list we can add on with the positive literals and also with the part of negative literals for example action that we are taking uh, saying that buy x that is the banana we are supposed to purchase what is the precondition if a seller is going to sell the banana then only the precondition satisfied to purchase it now effect what is that if you are purchasing then definitely we are going to have that x with us or the banana with us now what are the challenges that comes to mind in the real world as we are saying about the plan planning so see the planning is very important as we are still continuing with this series of uh, lectures and we are also come across the complex we are trying to solve the uncertainty part and also come across with many searching algorithm complex algorithm where a good planning strategy has to be applicable in the intelligence system or the expertise system to give you the very best or possible result now when it comes to the close close world assumption assuming that uh, the world models containing everything that robert needs to know that is also important but there can be no surprise on the contradictory part because the robot only need to know the things which we are going to insert to him until unless we are not able to insert the things to the robot or the information or the knowledge is not been fit to him the robot is not going to solve all the problems now come across with the frame problem how to represent the real world situation in a manner that is in a computational tra tractable yes if you are framing in a particular we are keeping all the records of the problem in one particular uh, body or record then how this is going to be framing out to solve all the computational tractable power so planning with this state space with respect to if we say the state space the planning there are two type of algorithm that comes to our mind uh, when we say about the state space that is the state forward approach and mostly are been there we come across with the forward state space search and the backward state space search when we say about the forward state space search it is said also the progression method and the backward state space search it is also called as the regression method now when we say about the progression part or the forward method what exactly it been done the formulation of the problem has to be done initially we have to take action goal state and the step cost that is the four parameters which is required initial state initial state has to we need to plan how at what initial state that will be the part and what all the next feasible step that we can take what all actions that can be planned action is the current state okay action is the current state action and precondition must be satisfied in the initial state sometime we come across with the precondition and some condition the precondition is not yet defined okay so regarding the goal state whether the state satisfy the goal of the planning that what we have planned at the initial and when we reach to the goal state 
are we exactly matching the expected and the actual result then this the forward state space search method is successful and now imagine what will the cost effective for each step that we are planning to take this is a part okay so this is the progression part and we will be taking the common example using the strips only a plan has a sequence of strips operators that uh, and also forming the initial state search forward by selecting operators with preconditions will be unified with the new literal and again when we are moving from one state to another state sometime we come across with the new state that includes the positive literals of refer the negative literals are effective with the deleted part search forward until the goal is unifies and the resulting the state space searching algorithm will use the strip operators to execute this one when we say the regression part this is the backward searching method the plan up sequence will be start from the strip operators the goal state must be unify at least once to have a positive literal the operators that is going to provide the preconditions must have the previous situation which is added on with the sub goal part and performing the uh, backward chaining method starting from the goal and will reaching to the initial state in this method that is the part of regression now come down what is the total ordering problem when we say about the total ordering problem the things that comes to our mind that how this total ordering problem is going to be fruitful or what exactly we are been taking down we come across the forward and backward state space okay just previously only we come across now this is that exploring only the uh, part of forward and backward chain will be fruitful the forward and backward state space search are forms totally depend upon the total order planning what it will be the from forward end and what will be the backward end or let's say what from the progression part and what we have done in the progression we are also doing the regression part okay and this is not been fruitful to take the advantages of uh, decomposition problem this is a part and this uh, total order plan planning is also <coughs> strictly uh, by follow with the rule of linear sequence and axes that are directly been connected with the state to goal state okay so next part will come across with the partial order planning so what is partial order planning in total order planning where the problem decomposition means complex problem cannot be divided further and cannot be solved individually that is the drawback of your total order planning when we say partial order planning instead of completing the whole searching at one point let's say we can decompose the overall problem ek problem ko agar ek sath hi solve nahi kar pa rahe to situation mein ye hai ki we can try on to decompose that problem at least partially so that the idea comes to mind where it can work with several individual sub goals or it could be solve the sub problems also or the sub plans can be designed combining all the sub plans will be given a good result flexibility in ordering the sub plans at least we can come commit to one strategy that will be helps to do this searching in a method and give you the desired result so this is an example of uh, partial order problem where we are been taking down we are putting a pair of shoe okay we are putting a pair of shoe गोल स्टेट क्या है हमारा राइट right शू ऑन एंड लेफ्ट शू ऑन ओके राइट शू अपने पोजीशन पर रहेगा लेफ्ट शू अपने पोजीशन में रहेगा इनिशियल में हमने कुछ भी प्री कंडीशन नहीं लिया है इस केस में हम चार एक्शन स्टेट ले रहे हैं क्या क्या है वो एक्शन स्टेट एक्शन पहला है कि राइट right शू जो है वो रिकॉर्डेड है उसकी प्री कंडीशन क्या है कि राइट सॉक्स ऑन है तो फिर इफेक्ट क्या होगा राइट शू ऑन है दूसरा एक्शन स्टेट क्या है राइट right सॉक्स उसकी प्री कंडीशन कुछ नहीं है जो कि इफेक्ट है राइट सॉक्स ऑन है अगेन वन मोर एक्शन जो हम ले रहे हैं लेफ्ट शू के ऊपर उसकी प्री कंडीशन क्या है अगर लेफ्ट सॉक्स उसके अंदर ऑन है तो फिर ये लेफ्ट शू भी ऑन होगा अब लेफ्ट सॉक्स के लिए हमने देखा कि पहले प्री कंडीशन कुछ नहीं है इफेक्ट क्या है लेफ्ट सॉक्स को ऑन करो ये रहा एग्जाम्पल कि हम स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं यहाँ पर हमारा कुछ प्री कंडीशन नहीं है हम गोल स्टेट को कब पहुँचेंगे जब हमने दोनों शू को उस जगह पर पहुँचा दिया उस रैक पर रख दिया तो रखने की कब प्री कंडीशन फिनिश कब सेटिस्फाई करेगा अगर लेफ्ट शू ऑन है राइट right शू ऑन है अब लेफ्ट शू ऑन और ये दोनों प्री कंडीशन है फाइनल स्टेट से पहुंचने से पहले तो हम क्या कर रहे हैं यहाँ पर डिकम्पोज कर रहे हैं कि हमने लेफ्ट सॉक्स लिया राइट right सॉक्स लिया 
लेफ्ट सू के अंदर लेफ्ट सॉक्स को रखा तो ये ऑन स्टेट में आया वैसे ही राइट सू को राइट सू में हमने लेफ्ट राइट सॉक्स को रखा तो ये ऑन स्टेट में आया अब फिनिश में पहुंचने के लिए अगर हमने लेफ्ट सू को ऑन कर दिया राइट सू को ऑन कर दिया देन वी आर रीचिंग टू द फिनल स्टेट दिस इज ए पार्सल ऑर्डर प्रॉब्लम एग्जाम्पल अब अगर हम टोटल ऑर्डर प्रॉब्लम की बात करते तो ये इस तरह से एग्जीक्यूट होता कि हमें किस तरह से मूव करना है यहाँ पर कोई प्री डिफाइंड सीक्वेंस नहीं होता है इनको सॉल्व करने के लिए वही चीज़ अगर हम पार्शियल ऑर्डर में बात करते हैं तो ये इस तरह से एग्जीक्यूशन होगा स्टार्टिंग टू एंड तक पहुँचने के लिए सो ये एक एग्जांपल था स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू हैव क्लियर अबाउट पार्शियल ऑर्डर एंड टोटल ऑर्डर प्रॉब्लम सो आई सजेस्ट टू फॉलो दिस लेक्चर वंस मोर एंड आई ट्राई टू सॉल्व वन और मोर प्रॉब्लम इन द अपकमिंग वीडियो लेक्चर्स टू गिव यू ए क्लियर पिक्चर आइडिया so for today's lecture thank you so much